Another good thing for advanced students, if they transition from arm locks to triangles to Mavata, back and forth, another thing you can do is, is uh, switch to the lower body. So this works especially well if the, if the top person stands when we attack an arm or a triangle. I don't recommend doing that personally, but it happens. So if I go for an arm lock here, Marcus might reinforce it up and he stands, right? Maybe I'll finish it here, and there's a lot of good ways to finish here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bail on the upper body, we're gonna go to the lower. We're gonna come underneath. This um, top leg is gonna slide, it's like a K guard. I'm flexing my Achilles, I'm lowering my own knee, knee line. I'm not up here where you can attack my leg, I'm down here. This leg needs to be mine. If he starts grabbing this, he's gotta get this free. If we had the gi or we had a glove, you can come here. But I'm gonna to try to get the front of my body and my groin out of the knee. It's a knee bar sweep. I'm gonna turn, get, um, use my kind of groin and my hips and fulcrum on their kneecap, chop here, set the hips. From here, we can switch to a knee bar or we can just work the stand up to get a sweep. All right, one more time. Do it. Let's turn this way. Thanks. All right. I work. Marcus stacks, supports. This is good for if we feel we're losing the upper body anyway. Where there really feels hyper focused in the upper body, we slide this knee down. I don't have my knee up here. He can knee, knee bar me himself. Slide it down. This leg needs to be free. Up kick, whatever. All right. I'm giving up on this lower body. Maybe he postures all the way up. I just can't get shit. I'm gonna turn. Here. You can try to finish with the knee bar. You can come on up. This week.